it do, KTTV? This is KT, and I'm coming at you live with another episode of the Daily K Podcast. And on today's episode, we are coming from the north side of Houston, Texas. Uh, we have Miss Kimberly Moore from Leaps and Bounds Tutorial Center. How you doing today, Miss Moore? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm all right. I wanted to say thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to uh, come on and talk about the center, uh, as we always try to push information out to help the community. How's the quarantine going for you? Everything is good. I'm. I'm just. I mean, we've we've had a lot of challenges, but uh, I'm still grateful. There are a lot of good things going on, so it's it's okay. Give me a little bit of background about your experience in education and how you even came to create Leaps and Bounds. I went to school to be a teacher. I've always loved education. I had my first child as far as tutoring at 16. I was tutoring at 16. I went on to get my teaching degree from Texas State. Uh, I'm not telling the year, but <laughs> I got my degree from Texas State. And um, I've been uh, teaching first grade. A uh, Beginning reading was my strong suit. And I just saw a lot of kids slipping through the cracks. And that's when I started Leaps and Bounds in 2005. What area uh, are you serving currently, uh, like physical location? Okay, so we our physical location is in Humble, Atascacita area. So uh, Sheldon, Galena Park, Humble ISD, uh, New Caney, those are our kids in that area. And then we have a smaller center in Crosby, Texas, and we serve Crosby, Baytown, and Huffman in that area. Talk to me about the students uh, that you serve. What grades and uh, what subjects? Okay, so we start at four years old, which is usually pre-K. We go all the way up to college level. So we've even had people there for GRE testing and things like that. We do math, reading, writing, and science. So that's pre-K through college level. And then we also do ACT and SAT training. Yes. And so um, the biggest thing that I wanted to focus on, uh, and which is why I felt it was so important to get the word out about the centers because we just got the information about schools closed for the rest of the year. Yes. So now, even before that announcement, how has the uh, quarantine and, and the school closing affected the business and how are you adapting? Well, we had to adapt quickly because um, we went out for spring break and we never came back, basically. We like to see our kids personally be able to touch them be able to sit right next to them and that was taken away because of the virus which you know we we are in this world so we had to do what we had to do but we took our tutoring online and that was new for us and we had to learn um we had to learn the programs very quickly we had to figure out how to get the lesson plans to the kids um, and how to keep in touch with our parents and to support them in any way we can. So we had to do that within a matter of days. Yes. And how has it been going? Um, have things picked up or how's that communication going? It's actually great. We have a lot of text messaging, a lot of emails. Um, we've always talked to our kids' classroom teachers and we're even still doing that. So we're able to know what they're doing, what's expected of them, and we're we're just rocking and rolling now. Yes. And so, how many teachers are at the center, and, and uh, like, what are the hours? Because we're doing virtual, our hours are whenever you need us to be. Basically, uh, we start tutoring at one o'clock p.m., and our last student uh, is done at eight p.m. We're working Monday through Thursdays right now from one to eight. And so are, are any of the tutors uh, still teaching as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, we still have, we've always had about 10 to 12 tutors. And our specialties range anywhere from beginning reading to college level math. And so they are still available for that. Um, we still have quite a few tutors that are doing virtual. Ah, uh, still doing virtual uh, for their own schools too. Well, some of our teachers are only working with leaps and bounds, and so we try to utilize them first as not to overwhelm our teachers that are in the school system. So if I'm, if I'm a parent and I see this interview and I want to sign up for the services, 
Like, how do I go about that? And then what does that session look like? Okay, so you can go online and fill out an inquiry form. And then I, either myself or one of my colleagues will call you right back and then we'll get in touch with you. We like to talk to the parents personally to find out what their needs are because we cater to each child. So nobody's plan really looks the same. So um, a virtual class really looks like our in-person class. We still do all the things that we did before. We will still make sure schoolwork is done first. We're still going back. Um, like, let's just say I have a fifth grader who's actually on fourth or third grade level. We still go back and do the things necessary to catch them up. Um, we even have gifted and talented to get kids ahead. So each there's not a set thing that each child does because it's so catered to the individual. And since you've gone virtual, have you had any... Uh clients outside of the Houston area or, or, or the area you've served? Yes, we actually have. Um, and it's found out to be one of the best things. So we have a couple of kids in the Galveston area that we, of course, wouldn't have gotten to if we were just still, you know, at the center, at the physical location. That's awesome. And so now this is the question. How much are the services? It really depends. It depends on how many sessions you're going to do, what level sessions you're doing as far as are they five years old or is this college math? Uh, but I will give you a range. Our services range from uh, about $30 is the average for an hour for virtual too. We have marked down our prices because we do realize a lot of people are struggling and are dealing with layoffs and things like that. A lot of the times, as I talk to parents, they were like, they just don't want to do the work. They they unmotivated. Parents don't know what to do. So how do you uh, inspire your kids to even make them want to log on and be a part of y'all center? Well, the most important thing is to stay positive. Um, no matter how I'm feeling about the quarantine or whatever, when my kids log on, they see a happy face. They see a smile. We talk about things that are good that are going on. We talk about the positives. Um, and we also look toward the future. Like, okay, so you still have to do this because you're going to be in school <laughs> next year and you don't want to be behind. And this is the perfect time to catch up. And this is, you know, so we talk about real life. And if they are having negative feelings, I allow them to feel that. I don't brush it under, you know, we'll talk about it and then I turn them back to the positive. All right. So do you see the virtual learning being a part of the, uh, the center going forward? Oh yeah. It's here to stay. <laughs> it is here to stay. Some of my kids love the computer and they do, they're doing an amazing job uh, with the virtual tutoring. Even some of my children that I didn't think could, do virtual tutoring because they're so used to having somebody right there. They're doing an amazing job. I'm so proud of them. So yeah, and I feel like this is a way to get our wonderful tutors connected with kids that live too far to come to our center. So yeah. All right. So what yeah. is the contact information if I want to get in touch with you to get signed up? Give me everything. Okay, so my name is Kimberly Moore. Uh, the sister name is Leaps and Bounds Tutorial Services. We have a Facebook page. You can reach us by phone at 832-338-9393. And then also we have a website at leapsandboundstutorials.com. Oh, man. Well, thank you for uh, that time and the information today. Uh, I hope that we can help get some people connected uh, because mom and dad are doing a lot. <laughs> yes, it help. is a lot on them. Yes, and so uh, yes. thank you for coming on today. You're welcome. All right, this is KT for KT TV signing out 100. <laughs>